hi everyone welcome back to my kitchen today we're making pan seared salmon with this delicious rich and creamy sauce here i have half of a side of salmon that i have cut into three pieces you want to go ahead and season your salmon Once you've got your seasoning on your salmon, do make sure you go in and give it a good rub. Once this is done, just leave it aside for a bit whilst we start to heat our pan. Now in a heated pan, I did go in with a little bit of oil and then I'm going to start to sear my salmon. Now I seared these for about two to three minutes per side. Then what I'm going to do is finish it up in the oven. So you want to preheat your oven prior to start frying your salmon now i place these in my oven for about six to seven minutes on 200 now it all depends on the size of your salmon as you can see that these are not very big so you don't want to leave it too long or as they will dry out and you know we want nice moist salmon when you um, cook salmon for too long it just tends to go really really dry and it's just not nice we just want it moist and flaky now i'm going to be using the same pan for my sauce so therefore i went ahead and just put these onto a different container and then i'm going to put them in the oven but you, you can go ahead and put them in the oven as long as you know in the pan as long as you know that you're using a pan that you can go in the oven so here i am sauteing my shallots and my garlic then i'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes once i added my tomatoes i did that let these saute for about another two to three minutes i did go ahead and add some salt and black pepper to my pan now when I'm cooking I do like to taste as I go so I can adjust what I'm cooking accordingly. After I've done this I'm going to go ahead now and add my coconut milk. Now this coconut milk is really creamy therefore you know because of the temperature now it literally has solidified. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just spoon that mixture in give it a good mix and then I'm going to add my water. And the water just thins out the sauce a little bit because the coconut milk is really thick i then went in and added my thyme my crushed red chilies if you don't want it to be spicy you can leave out the chilies and also i added my mixed herb i also went in with about a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning but as i said just taste as you go and adjust now this sauce literally takes about five to six minutes now after I've added all of this and I've tasted my sauce, I'm just going to go ahead and add my honey. Once I've added the honey, give it another taste. It was perfect for me. So just let it simmer for about another minute or two and then it was time to switch off. Once your sauce is ready, your salmon should be done and it's just time to plate up. Now I serve this with some nice creamy mashed potatoes and some steamed broccoli stems. Now you can choose to add your salmon back to the pan but I just put it on a plate and then I'm just going to pour my sauce over it. Now when I tell you this sauce is just a so good, simple but absolutely delicious. And there you have it guys. 
my pan seared salmon with my delicious sauce served on my lovely mashed potatoes with my veg this is just a nice easy quick weeknight meal for you just whip it up in no time guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video now look at this salmon just nice it just falls apart just nice and flaky so so good Now, you know, I had to go in back for another piece of the salmon just to get it in my mouth. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching once again. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.